Amazonia is a creepy place. Where, if not here, can you encounter a creature drinking someone else's tears, a frog full of poison, or one of the biggest beetles on Earth? And this is far from all. Smart Pizza's with you, and in this episode you'll see creatures in Amazonia that frighten all the scientists. And first, to catch the vibe of this episode, I propose to start with a photo of one extremely curious creature found in the Amazonia. I found the photo on Reddit, where it was very actively discussed. Some people confidently believe that it's a fake and pure scam, and the others referred to ancient legends and tales of local peoples. You see, fishermen caught the one about whom our ancestors had spoken. What do you think? Such a monster really exist? Write in the comments. We're going to go on and have a look at the Gorgon, but about the Gorgon Macarea, a butterfly that feeds on the tears of other animals. By the look of it, this creature doesn't seem creepy at all. Perhaps even on the contrary, it's cute and kindly. It lives in Brazil, near the Amazon, and doesn't touch anyone. It's not for nothing that people learned about it only in the 18th century. It turns out that all the theories about the butterfly's good nature have been stretched too far. Our moth goes hunting at sunset. In the darkness, it searches for unhappy or allergic birds. When a victim is found, the gorgon sits right on its neck and sticks into its eyes with all its might. Sounds really creepy, but that's just the way Mother Nature is. You've probably already imagined that the poor victim immediately loses consciousness and goes to the other world. But it's nothing like that. The morning after, she's alive and well as if nothing had happened. Wiping tears at night, as it turned out, is not harmful to birds, except that there is a chance to get some eye disease with the proboscis. The birds experience neither discomfort nor pain. Otherwise, they'd quickly realize that the juices are being squeezed out of them and would fight back the offender. A logical question arises. Why does the Gorgon hunt for the tears of birds? Why didn't the nectars of plants please it? Who said that they didn't please it? They suit it and, moreover, form the basis of her diet. The Macarea needs tears only to strengthen the immune system. By the way, in butterflies, this theme is not so unique. Many other species don't mind improving their salt balance through the tears of other animals either. This phenomenon has its own scientific term, lacrophagy. It's a giant leech of the same Amazon whose parasitism is impossible not to notice. These individuals are considered the largest of their kind. Their length can reach 17 and a half inches and width almost four inches. Despite this, they're skillful at hiding and have first-class flexibility, allowing them to deftly slide between cracks and openings, avoiding unwanted connections. These leeches live in bodies of water. Because of their gray-brown coloration, they're almost impossible to spot there. In addition, they almost never fuss pretend to be a pile of mud, hide in the coastal thickets, and wait for their target. The object of their attack regularly become caimans, anacondas, and even cattle. In order to fight such strong enemies, you need to have at least long and sharp teeth. But the giant leech doesn't care about this point. It can get by with just one sharp proboscis. Sticking a needle into a large vessel, the parasite sucks blood until it's satiated enough. One such leech, according to scientists, can take up to a liter of blood at a time. I think you can see for yourself what a pack of giant parasites can do. They can literally suck the life out of a huge cow in a short period of time. And once upon a time, their vampire life began with ordinary little frogs. When I heard about what giant leeches can do, I felt uneasy. I thought it was just the peak of the worst and nastiest things to be found in the Amazon forest. But I was wrong. The creature I'm about to tell you about is so poisonous that you only have to touch it once to be fatally poisoned. We are talking about the golden poison frog, a rather bright, beautiful, and frankly speaking, even cute frog. Truth be told, behind such a harmless appearance hides a threat to all living things. As I've already said, you can suffer from just one touch with this frog. What's more, there's enough venom to kill 250 adults at once. You would think that you just shouldn't touch these frogs. They're bright, so it's quite easy to recognize them. There's just one thing. The golden poison frogs don't live in water. 
They live in the crowns of trees somewhere up there and at any moment can accidentally land on a person or someone else. Their bodies are so adapted to the new way of life that these creatures decided to completely get rid of the webbing between the legs. Instead, the animals acquired stickies. They allow them to crawl on vertical surfaces, even with their heads down. Crawling around like a Spider-Man is great, but I still can't figure out why this frog needs so much poison. In fact, even scientists have no idea why. Perhaps the frog doesn't want it at all. There is a theory that the poison is produced automatically when it devours all sorts of local spiders endowed with poison. The amphibian itself is not poisoned. What's more, it adopts the weapon of its lunch. Against this background, scientists have tried to study its internal structure and understand how it's not poisoned by toxins, but no one has been able to do this yet. There's a mystery frog hopping around in the trees above the Amazon. If luck turns away from a tourist, the frog will land on him and dispatch. Titan Beetle When I first heard the name, I thought, here it is, our weapon against the golden poison frog. Some kind of titan beetle that chops down trees and is immune to poison. However, things didn't turn out to be so rosy. The titan beetle is not a man at all. It's a beetle, considered one of the largest on Earth. Its body is flat, broad, flattened. As a rule, the length of the adult is from three to six and a half inches, but there are also stories about eight inch long bugs. In addition to a long body, this beetle has first class armor. It's black brown in color and consists of spikes. He also has long whiskers, similar to twigs, as well as strong legs with something like hooks on the end. And the cherry on top are powerful jaws which, as they say, the titan beetle can bite even the finger of an adult man. I strongly recommend not to check this fact. Nothing is known about the life of these creatures. What if they travel in groups all the time, and as soon as we capture one of the titans, its brethren will run for protection? Jokes are jokes, but it's quite possible because they have nothing to lose. They only live for a few weeks, as their bodies wear out very quickly. Anaconda You tell me. What's an Amazon horror story without an anaconda? That's right, none. This giant creeper from the boa subfamily has kept the locals in awe for many hundreds of years. Despite the vast amounts of time that people have known about it, the scientific world has not yet determined the size of the anaconda. Some say that they've seen individuals over 20 feet in length. Others assure of the existence of 25 feet individuals and others swear that they've met anacondas up to 36 feet long. Scary to imagine what such a creeper is capable of, if these stories are actually true. After all, even small by these standards, 10-foot-long individuals are already a huge danger. They excellently merge with the environment and become invisible to their enemies, even in spite of their large size. Fortunately, they do not have poisonous teeth, but they are fully compensated by several rows of small, hook-shaped teeth facing inward. Any opponent who hesitates even for a moment and goes a little further down their throats will be dead. To escape from such sharp hooks and even bent inside is almost unrealistic. Inside the anaconda, victims can be digested for weeks, which saves the snake from frequent meals and local residents from fear for themselves and so anacondas hunt both on land and underwater. They crawl quickly, attack whomever they want, and fear only that there's no room in their belly for their next prey. Atlantic Bushmaster That's the name of another snake that inhabits these lands. I'll tell you this, its patience is the envy of everyone. This creeper is the largest member of the South American venomous snakes of the viper family. It's not easy to meet, as it mostly lives in uninhabited areas away from people. The reason for this behavior is that it's extremely important to the Bushmaster that the odors it seeks are not interrupted by anything or anyone else. Crawling out to hunt, the creeper gathers all the most appetizing scents from the air and stops at one of them, the sweetest. The snake projects the road on which this individual ran, looking for a more comfortable bush and sits down to wait. The snake can wait for hours, days, or even weeks. It's ready to do almost anything to catch an appetizing target. Almost always, sooner or later, 
the opponent will follow the same route, and Bushmaster, for one deft lunge, will take its life. Some call this hunting technique strange, and here I completely agree, but the most important thing, as for me, is that this technique is effective. A snake can easily go without food for a long time, slowing down the process in its body, so why not take advantage of it? It's hard to believe, but this 10-foot long snake can eat only 10 times a year and still maintain a weight of up to 11 pounds. The arapaima, on the other hand, is unlikely to be able to keep such a strict diet. After all, a fish needs to eat, especially a fish this big. This creature is considered one of the largest freshwater fish in the world. The length of arapaima usually reaches up to 6.5 feet, but there are also 10 feet and even 13-foot individuals. As a true king, Arapaima avoids the hustle and bustle, choosing for a comfortable life cozy covered with vegetation ponds. That's why in such a turbulent river as the Amazon, you're unlikely to meet an Arapaima, but in the swamp next to the river, such a meeting will be quite likely. Given that the giant fish has grown to such large dimensions, it's unlikely to be swallowed by any of the local underwater inhabitants, and therefore it cannot worry about anything and do not hurry anywhere. The fish's throat and swim bladder are covered with lung tissue, which allows it to breathe ordinary air. Thus, this creature is also bipedal, it's able to spend time both underwater and on land. The giant feeds on smaller brethren, as well as birds or shrimp. Hunting arapaima is quite unusual, doesn't hide, and at the same time does not show excessive aggression. She just pretends to be a chaotically floating log. As soon as it's close to the potential victim, it immediately makes a sharp jerk and swallows it whole. Just when I was talking about fish that might be overly aggressive, I immediately came across Pagara. Well, let's talk about it. This is an incredibly dangerous fish from the Amazon, which is so unafraid of anything that it even hunts piranhas. According to locals, once a pack of these piaras in a matter of seconds took a whole crocodile into pieces. Piara, or vampire fish, another name for this fish, can reach almost 50 inches in length and weighs about 40 pounds. But the most interesting thing, as you probably realize, is far from the length of the fish, Piara has such large teeth that for them he had to invent special cavities where they're put. Otherwise, the vampire fish's jaw wouldn't close. But don't hurry to sell your tickets to Amazon. Piara has no interest in humans. She only wants the freshest fish in the world. It doesn't matter if they're piranhas or even members of her own species. With hunger, she'll eat anyone. The main vampire of the underwater world gets as close to the victim as possible, catches up with it in one spurt, and sinks its fangs into the very base. The unfortunate prey is thrust into the hunter's mouth like a skewer and can't escape. The Amazonian giant centipede is a species of arthropod belonging to the class of sponges. These creatures are among the largest and most intimidating members of their species, inhabiting the rainforests of South America and Central America. The Amazonian giant centipede can reach from 12 inches to 14 inches in length, although individuals as large as 18 inches are also found. They have 21 to 23 pairs of legs, which are used for locomotion and hunting. Their bodies are covered with a tough chitinous covering, which protects them from enemies and helps them find their way through dense vegetation. Despite their frightening appearance, these giant centipedes do not pose a serious threat to humans. They prefer to prey on small insects such as crickets and cockroaches, as well as other invertebrates. However, if they're disturbed, they can bite. However, the bite will only be painful but not fatal for an adult. One of the main features of the Amazonian giant centipede is their ability to regenerate. If they lose a leg or even several legs, they're able to regenerate them within just a few weeks. Black Cayman The black caiman is one of the largest modern reptiles living in the ever-so-beautiful Amazon. The alligator got its name due to its black-brown coloration and dark skin tone. Its length can reach 16 and a half feet and its weight more than 880 pounds. The black caiman has powerful jaws and sharp teeth that help it hunt other animals, including crocodiles and even jaguars. It's also an excellent swimmer and can stay underwater for up to 15 minutes. The only enemies of this creature are commonly considered to be the jaguar and the giant anaconda. 
It's known that two meter crocodiles have more than once become food for four meter snakes. Be that as it may, no snakes usually come into conflict with caimans more than 10 feet long. Interestingly, these alligators can change their color depending on environmental conditions, which helps them camouflage and hunt even more successfully. That's about it. Write in the comments which creature seemed the most frightening to you. If you're interested, leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.